Hey, Architect Nation, Enix Sears here, and in today's Architect CEO update, we're going to discuss why referrals may be a death knell for your architecture firm. Death knell means, death knell is spelled K-N-E-L-L. It's the bell that rings to signify that someone's died. And why would I say, why would I bring up this idea that referrals may be a death knell for your architecture firm? Sounds pretty controversial, and I have a feeling this concept is going to be pretty controversial because we love referrals. And there's almost no better sign that you're doing great work and that your clients are pleased than that they are referring other people to your firm. This is the highest form of compliment and it's the best kind of marketing you can do to get referrals. However, here's the problem with referrals and this is what I've seen in not only my experience as an architect but also as I've worked with other architecture firms from around the world. Referrals, because they're coming to us and we're not necessarily doing any active marketing to get them, what ends up happening is they lull us into a sense of complacency and security with our marketing. Let me repeat that. Referrals consistently tempt us to be lulled into a sense of serenity, complacency, and frankly neglect with regards to our marketing. And here's what I mean by that. You know, I started the Business of Architecture podcast back in 2012. And since that time, Every single week I've spoken with architecture firm owners, uh, from small firms to large firms. I've asked them questions about their practice. And so it's allowed me to get a very, very clear picture of what works in an architecture firm and what doesn't. What are the techniques? What are the strategies? What are the patterns among the architects out there who are absolutely crushing it, who are building a legacy, winning great projects? And here's the thing. The architects who are struggling, a lot of times the conversation goes something like this. Well, we used to get work referred to us, but the um, the new superintendent or the new te- you know the new CEO or whatever the company of one of our best clients brought in you know there was a transfer of power new superintendent came in brought in their team and no longer do we have the ability to work with this client and so ultimately what happens to an architecture firm in this situation when they lose a key client that was once providing all these referrals there's a huge gap it causes a lot of stress a lot of frustration for these architecture firm owners because now whereas they were able to depend on this consistent flow of projects that came in Now they're kept up at night wondering where the next project will come from. Where will I replace the work that this client provided for me? So referrals can unintentionally give us a sense of of complacency in our firm. And complacency is one of the most dangerous things that can happen as a business or as an architecture firm owner. Because when you're complacent, you're not paying attention to the threats and the weaknesses that are out there. The weaknesses in your firm and the potential threats that are around you. So here's what I'd have you consider today. Yes, referrals are great. However, referrals possibly could be lulling you into a sense of security, false security. And one of the other disadvantages of referrals, of course, is that if you're depending solely on referrals, you're only going to get the kind of projects that you've been doing before because here's here's the deal. People see you as a certain way. They see you as a certain kind of architect. They see you doing certain kinds of projects. And if you're simply waiting on referrals, then All you can hope for is to get more of the same. If you actually want to increase the scope, increase the size, increase the quality of the clients you're working with, then you're going to have to focus on some way to get new clients, some sort of client acquisition system. Now, if this makes sense to you and you don't know where to start, I've prepared a special presentation for you can get access by going to dreampracticewebinar.com. You can also go to architectwebinar.com. Those are two separate presentations. Either of them, you'll learn the strategies for being able to take a proactive approach to your marketing, in addition to the referrals that you're getting, which are fantastic, but also how to prevent and how to uh, you know, guard yourself against the day when that facility manager retires, when that real estate broker who used to refer you lots of work suddenly moves out of town. All these things can happen. They can have a huge impact on your firm unless you're also doing the active marketing. Because here's the deal, when you look at active marketing versus referral marketing or getting referrals, referrals is, is very low cost in the moment. You don't have to pay a lot of money and resources to get a referral. You just do good work and slowly over time this turns into a powerful, powerful marketing asset, this word of mouth referrals that comes in your firm. Fantastic. However, active marketing is more costly. It's more costly up front. Right? You're going to spend more money on design. You're going to spend more money on getting social media posts out there, having some sort of marketing coordinator help you. Your time invested in the marketing, making sure that marketing message is right. However, what happens is that over time as you consistently actively market your firm, this increases the snowball effect. So today's active marketing 
turns into tomorrow's referrals. Likewise, if you're not doing any active marketing today, ultimately what can happen down the road is you're planting the seeds for a very, very dry river. If you're not doing active marketing today, you are unintentionally planting the seeds for a very, very dry river, potentially down the line. So again, I'd have you consider what are you doing in your firm to actively market your firm? If you're not quite sure what works, ping me a little message, PM me, we can have a conversation about what that might look like in your firm, some suggestions about what I think you could do to win more of the kind of products that you want. As always, this is Enix Sears signing off for today, Carpe Diem.